Okay, so I've done some experimenting and I really wanted to use these 0.5 mil copper to be able to make really good bus bars between the different cells. So I came up with the idea of uh, I bought a hole punch and I carefully but not expertly punched these holes through the copper, which wasn't too difficult, but it was very time consuming. So with this uh, nickel strip, if I carefully align it, I can solder it to the back side, which makes a very appealing uh, bus bar look. And so over here you can see that I've tried it. I think it looks rather nice. Unfortunately, I can't be 100% sure that the solders don't let go because of all the experiments that I've had with the nickel strip is that it seems that the solder sticks to the nickel surface coating. I don't know if it's electroplated or powder coated on, I'm not even sure. But it doesn't take a lot of pressure to remove it from the uh, copper. It seems that the nickel stays with the solder and you're left with bare steel underneath. So something that occurred with this cell right here. I was spot welding it and I'm not sure what happened but my spot welder might have punched right through the metal case of the cell and it started bubbling out electrolyte. So that means I cannot use this whole bank anymore. Luckily I bought extra cells. So anyway I don't know if this is a factor of bad luck or if these GE B cells are not that great. Anyway, thought I'd pass it on to you guys that are following. So one of the ways that I'm uh, going to do this is simply sandwiching it in a spot welding. I tried soldering in between, but I don't think it's necessary. I believe that enough surface contact is made for each individual cell that it uh, is good enough. Just use a punch to get it down. Now the key to this is to keep the nickel strip tight when you force it down through the 0.5 millimeter copper. That way when you spot weld it, it's quite tight. Sorry about bumping the camera there. So this is time consuming, but I think all spot welding is time consuming. Now I know some of you are going to ask about cell level fusing. I do not have the ability to do any cell level fusing, so what I'm doing is I'm taking this uh, 8 millimeter by 0.15 millimeter nickel strip and I'm cutting it in half. And I believe that it's just strong enough and weak enough to act like a fuse if necessary. Because trust me, I've made mistakes over time and I've blown this stuff up, practically vaporized it quite easily. <laughs> 